In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create reels in Final Cut Pro. Now, I've already done a video on this, but I've literally learned so much since doing that video. So I wanted to make a new video going over some of the new techniques. And at the end of the video, I'm even gonna show you guys how to extract the sound from popular reels and put it into Final Cut Pro so that it's much, much easier for you to edit. So what we wanna do first is we want to go to File, New, and Project. So once we do that, we wanna go to Custom Settings. And under Custom Settings, we wanna go to Video. Under Video, you will see Vertical select vertical and then for resolution this is totally up to you but my preferred resolution is 1080 by 1920 and you want to make sure the frame rate is set to how you were filming for me i was filming at 60 frames per second so i'll stick with 59.94 and everything else looks good to me apple pro res is fine uh so i'm going to hit okay once i hit okay you can see if I go up here to the project, which is labeled Untitled Project 4, um, it's not, okay, there it is. Now it's showing the proper real format over here. So what we wanna do is we wanna drag our clip into the timeline. And as you can see, I film the clip normal. So it doesn't exactly fit the reel. So what we wanna do is we want to make it fit in the, in the space to fill that black space so that it's not just in the middle. So what you wanna do is you wanna select the clip and there's two ways that you can do this. So way number one is with the transform tool where you just drag it into how you want it. Or you can go to the crop tool, hit crop, and it'll actually automatically allow you to drag this around and pick the point where, where you wanna use it and i want this lined up kind of in the middle of where i'm standing so it looks good and now i'm going to hit done and it has basically cropped our clip perfectly so now there it is that's my reel so you can make cuts to this you can add other clips you can do you can get really creative with this and really do whatever you want what i showed you was basically just how to set it up and to get you going at this point, once you create the reel, you just export it like any other Final Cut Pro project, and then you can airdrop it to your iPhone if you have an iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone and you have an Android, I would definitely recommend using something like Dropbox to get it on your phone. That's the only way you're going to actually be able to upload the reel to Instagram. Okay, so now what I promised was showing you guys how to get your reel audio inside of Final Cut Pro. So what you wanna do is you wanna identify the audio. So for that portion of the video, I'm actually going to switch over to my iPhone and show you guys that way. Okay guys, so here we are on my Instagram page. Definitely make sure to follow me at Ant's Drone. I upload really cool reels and different travel lifestyle stuff, especially from Arizona where I live. But what we wanna do is we want to identify the sound of a reel. So I'm just gonna use um, one of my own reels, I guess. So this one right here. And now for copyright reasons, I'm not gonna actually play the sound, but I'm gonna open the reel up. And as you can see in the corner here, you're able to tap to highlight the sound. So here it is. So now what you wanna do is you wanna literally do what I'm doing. You wanna start a screen recording on your iPhone. And once you do that, you wanna go to the sound and you wanna hit play. So you wanna play the sound through, let the phone record it through the screen recording. Once you're done with that, you wanna take the screen recording clip from your camera roll and you want to airdrop it to your Mac. If you have an Android, then this probably, well, this definitely won't work for you. So I'm sorry, you're out of luck here. You can probably still do a screen recording. You just won't be able to airdrop it to your Mac. You'll have to use Dropbox or something else. Once you airdrop it to your Mac and find it in your downloads folder, you want to drag that into Final Cut Pro, the screen recording. And as you can see, here it is, the screen recording, not the one I just did on my phone, but a similar one that I did for Sunset Lover. And I let it play through. So what I want to do now is I want to zoom in on the audio piece and I want to identify where the actual audio is so I can see it right here. So I'm going to cut the front of it off by hitting command B, cut the back of it off by lining it up and hitting command B as well, cut those pieces off. 
so that just the audio piece that we want is highlighted. Then you're gonna do a right click over the clip or a double tap on your uh, trackpad with two fingers. And this will pull up this menu where you will see detach audio. Now you have that audio detached. You can delete the screen recording and you literally have the audio from Instagram in Final Cut Pro so that you can edit your reel exactly the way you need it to so that it matches the audio. I really hope this helped you guys. I wanna give you guys tips on how to make your content better. If this helped you out at all, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos. And also please make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it helps rank the video higher in the algorithm, which helps grow the channel. And that benefits everyone because I like to make awesome tutorials to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.